Hey guys, Lieutenant Curious here today. I am here with a Lego Star Wars collaboration mock on the planet of Kali. Now, you guys probably have heard the planet Kali already because Clone Production Studios, who is also a part of Nova Lug, has already posted the first part of the Quest on Kali mock series that he and I both are collaborating and building this five-part series on the planet of Kali in our Nova Lug. So, in part one, in Clone Production Studios mock, the platoon of 41st Elite crash landed on the planet because they had been overrun, their ships had been overrun by blasts coming from the Separatists, and they crash landed their LAAT slash I on the planet, and now they are trying to find some help, and they are going past a farm and a tribal hut that is accompanied by the species Kalish, of course, the native species of the planet. So, let's get right into it. So, to start with the terrain, the terrain is basically a very dense jungle and has a lot of vegetation. And if you haven't seen part one, be sure to check that out because Clone Production Studios does, an, does a really good job of explaining the terrain and what is happening on the planet at the time. And also, I will put above, above the link to Clone Production Studios' channel and the link to part one of the series. Alright, so in this terrain, we have a bunch of different types of vegetation, mainly stem grass pieces. And there's a little patch of what I like to call weeds right here in the center. And there's some bamboo spread throughout. And right where, right here, there is a big rock that has a lot of detail on it and is covered by, was overwhelmed by a bunch of grass. And over in this area, there is more grassy and green, like I use green plates in the terrain, with a bunch of sand green, dark green, and regular green patches. So I'll give you guys some nice views of that. All throughout. Alright, so now I will give you guys a view of the other side of the terrain. So you guys can see that the stem grass pieces are kind of spread out in patches and aren't completely covering the terrain. Clone Production Studios and I both like to do that because it shows a little more that so you guys will be able to see what's actually plated instead of completely vegetation. So I think that looks really nice. And for example, right here, we have a patch of dark green accompanied by some olive green. And then I topped it off with some stem grass pieces running over the top of it with some vines here and there. And right next to where the big rock patch ends is a little water pond, you could say, that kind of accompanies the swamp feature and has a little leaf running over it, laying over it, I mean, and it has some grass going around it. So I think that turned out pretty nice. And now to the trees. So as you guys could probably already tell, these two trees are the same type and they're very similar in height and size and are very simple trees. They're not that tall and they just have a nice basically bush of leaves on top and kind of accompany the jungle feature as well, which I thought turned out really nice. All right, so now I will get to over there with the pathway and the farm. So this pathway is very cool and I thought of this idea 
a while back and it turned out just how I thought it would. I used dark green on the bottom and then covered it with some mud or brown plates and then detailed it with light gray and dark gray studs and also light gray stud tiles and then also some cheese slopes all along and it, I think it really shows the poorness of the species and the planet and really goes along with the whole jungle feature. So yeah, and now to the wonderful farm. All right, so in this corner, it has not been plowed yet by the farmer who's standing right there. It is kind of vegetated with some of these red leaves that has some mud going over the top of it and also some grass. And this is right next to where the hut is, which I will go to last. And now right here, there's just some open plowed terrain that has, there hasn't been anything planted yet. Oh, sorry for the bad lighting, guys. And right here is the caliche right next to two of the 41st Elite Soldiers walking by. And then also right here is where it has been fully plowed and there are some plants. These would most likely be carrots because these are actually the carrot stems. And those would probably be like radishes or some kind of other plant. We have no idea what kind of plants the Kalish could be planting. So it's kind of mysterious, but pretty cool. And then over here is some more non-plowed area with some rocks and sand and then a grass patch that starts up here and runs its way through past the over the pathway, which I thought turned out pretty nice. So yeah, that's about it. And you can see that this pathway goes all the way along right past the hut, which is what I will get into next. All right, so I'll start with the top of the hut which is so somewhat rounded on the edges and has a lot of detail. I kind of wanted to show how this was like made out of straw kind of, but of course Lego doesn't actually have straw pieces or what looks like them. So I kind of made it all detailed like that and added some olive green with some olive green leaves as well. And I thought the top turned out really nice and really captures the whole jungle mood next to that tree so yeah now i'm going to take off the top of the hut and show you guys the inside all right so this is the inside of the hut and as you can see there's these two pillars at the front and the pillars in the back that keep the roof up and there are some crates of weapons and some crates with lids on them and right here is a little table that comes from the wall that has a weapon on it currently that this Kalish, I'll show you him pretty closely. He has a very cool mask, which they had to wear in order to survive. And he has some nice detailing. Well, I mean, that is an orc from Lord of the Rings. That's that torso and legs, but it really captures the Kalish look, so I decided to use that. And we just have a nice table here with a weapon on it that he is probably um, reloading or something else, we don't know. And the inside has some nice detailing on the walls. Sorry for the bad lighting once again. I'm trying to get better views on that. On the nice detailing on the outside. So what I did here is just turned the 1x6 brown tile and in the front I will put the the roof back on to do this feature but this is the playable feature that is needed in the five parts so I will get right into that. Alright so the playable feature in this is a door, a wooden door, that I can easily push open and closed like that. So the Kalish can get in and out to easily access weapons and food 
from the farm and to protect their village which is in that direction that way and in part one clone production studios playable feature was a falling over tree that was caught on fire which I thought was really nice and so what I decided to do was have a wooden door that I could slide in and out so yeah so that's about it for part two of quest on Kali thanks for watching guys be sure to check out clone production studios channel and part one so you understand what's happening in the five part series and if you like the video be sure to leave a like on it and if you haven't subscribed yet you could subscribe because that would be greatly appreciated so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time